So if you didn't know, this is Crash Act called Gab, and uh, it's basically a it's Twitter without uh, censorship. You you can't get banned on there for saying something, and uh, this is really interesting because that is a good idea because uh, Twitter does tend to ban people with uh, opinions that they don't like, and it, uh, and it, having the gab could what could have potentially made a um, competitor to them, meaning that they couldn't just ban people, ban people, ban people, and ban people, otherwise they end up at gab, giving gab more ad revenue while reducing Twitter's ad revenue. Well, I, I presume that's how they make their money. Um, and uh, this is uh, um, th this idea of Gab was a good one, but here's uh, the problem: the people that uh, um, Twitter was banning were, for the most part, there are some who, for the most part, were extremists. Uh, um, you know, white like white supremacists and neo Nazis, neo Nazi kind of people, and uh, that meant that all of those people went over to Gab, meaning Gab became a majority white supremacist neo Nazi website. And this isn't Gab's fault at all, because um, the problem here is. There was no incentive for anybody to leave Twitter and go over to Gab. Heck, I didn't even know Gab existed until uh, today uh, when I heard about it on um, the mysterious Mr. Enter's. Uh, um, oh, what was his what was series called again? Um, technocracy? Yeah, Technocracy. Um, and, uh, yeah. Gab. When I hit, when I hear it, it's just like no sense of it, and it's like there's gonna be a lot of hate on there because even on Twitter there's still a lot of hate, mind you. It's mostly towards straight white heterosexual men and the uh, TIFFs, um, and anybody who voted for Trump, and anybody who doesn't it, uh, um, fit the politically correct. Uh, um, ideals, literally just anybody who's not politically correct, basically, but mostly white, straight, heterosexual men. Um, and TERFs. But TERFs, not so much. Um, but this thing, like I said, those TERFs and neo-Nazis that Twitter banned went over to GAF, and uh, then GAF became known as just the place where all the neo-Nazis are. And then, you know, Nobody else wanted to go there, not not the center, center left, or center right, or right or left, only the extreme, you know, neo Nazis, and that kind of thing. And this is really bad because Gaff and Twitter have sort of become the same but opposite. Gaff, how they are the same is they are basically echo chambers just echoing the same thoughts and opinions over and over and over again and any dissenting opinion in Twitter will be banned um, pushing them further to the political extreme over into Gaff where even if they're more moderate eventually you know you spend long enough inside of the echo chamber you're you know, you're probably going to start becoming more and more extremist, especially if you're being basically banished and, it, um, you know, thrown out of uh, a community where they're not at, you know, where they're not extreme. Or, and, it, uh, you know, that's what's wrong. Like, Gaff, um, if, or if it just didn't become a cesspool, of neo-Nazi and white supremacists and that kind of shit, then I think Gaff would have taken off and overtaken Twitter really quickly. Like I think Twitter would have still been a echo chamber for um, SJW political correctness, um, you know that kind of stuff. But I definitely think 
think um, if more moderate voices and more moderate people made their way to Gath sooner, before the neo-Nazi white supremacists got there, then I think Gath could have definitely saved itself, well not really saved itself, but have, have been saved from the label of just the place where all the neo-Nazis go. And that, um, and that that's definitely um, something that would have been good. Um, sh now, could Gath have saved itself from being labelled the place where neo-Nazis and uh, the white supremacists go? Yes, they could have easily done that. Before launching uh, their, uh, their uh, you know, Gath, um, or whatever they were planning to call it, uh, when they were, um, you know, at going through the development phases and everything, they uh, could have um, just gone up to some famous people or, you know, some people who aren't on the political street extreme of either spectrum. So, like, um, off the top of my head, Milo Yiannopoulos, Sargon of Akkad, Lacey Green, um, the Quartering, Philip DeFranco, you know, just get a good mix of opinions in there and uh, try uh, to uh, at least dilute all of the neo-Nazi supremacists, you know, bullshit and, uh, you know, just like, hey, would you consider coming over to uh, our alternative to Twitter where uh, you can't get banned for saying something? And I think if they'd done this, they would have definitely gotten a, a much more popular. So they launch it. And uh, from the start, you have, you know, you have those big uh, names, sort of DeFranco, you know, the more not crazy neo-Nazi kind of people. And then they bring their audience over. And uh, um, the neo-Nazis are a fringe element of uh, their of the of that of their political spectrum, just like the SJWs and everything are. So I and uh, so I definitely think a lot of the people would have migrated over, um, just like oh we can escape all of the SJW bullshit from Twitter and uh, not have our lives almost completely ruined. Sign us up. And uh, I think they would, you know, a lot of people would just jump over. I definitely think some like SJWs would just so they could spread their own uh, brand of hate through it. But I definitely think if they could get uh, more centre and uh, more, you know, you know, more people who are uh, closer to the centre of the political spectrum, I definitely, uh, or even centrists, you know, centrist and cent more closely centred. Uh, to the centre of the political spectrum rather than the extremes, and I definitely think it could have, you know, gone off tremendously well. Um, it would have drowned out all the neo-Nazis before they even had a chance to take it over, and uh, um, you know, if this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Now, here's the thing: could they fix Gaff? Could Gaff, you know? Gain a different reputation of not just the place where the neo Nazis are. Could they rebrand themselves? Eh, I don't know. Um, like I said, they are pretty much known now as the place where neo Nazis go, and pretty much anybody who goes there will probably be branded a neo Nazi. And any and uh, um, you, and I really don't think you could get people like Simon of a card. Philip DeFranco and Lacey Green and you know those kind of people on it because they don't want to be labelled a neo Nazi. They are they would they would probably be afraid of going on there because they don't want to be associated with those people, despite that they already are kind of associate you know, tied to them by SJWs even though they're not really in support of them. And uh, because they're already again accused of being Nazi neo Nazis a lot, going to a neo Nazi um, you know, website a website known for housing neo Nazis would be very bad for them. Um, and I really don't think anybody would go over now. Um, I think the only way they could 
possibly, maybe, perhaps, you know, do well now is hit the reset button, re complete rebrand, start from the, start from the, with a blank page, and from that blank page you have to immediately get big names in there. Like, you really need to make sure that you just drown out the neo-Nazi bullshit. And I think this is the best way to actually kill neo-Nazism and the even and even the CW and the, the political extremism, basically, you know, being on either side of the political extreme, because the best way to kill a stupid idea is by exposing it to sunlight or the truth, basically. And uh, that you can't really do that if, uh, when you criticise somebody on Twitter, you get banned. And. Uh, um, I think that that's why Gaff needs to, a, a place like Gaff, well, what Gaff could have been, without all the neo-Nazi shit, needs to exist, because otherwise political extremes are just going to get pushed further and further into the people in the, the political spectrum, will just keep on being pushed further and further into the political extreme, Thanks to the echo chambers, and it uh, it will uh, this will lead uh, to at least the extension of life for neo Nazism and uh, um, radical feminism or third wave feminism, whatever you want to call it. If, you know, SJWism. Anyway, and I do definitely believe that a website like Gaff, without the without you know, it needs to exist. Uh, maybe, but we do need to dilute the um, stupidity a bit. With, you know, get rid of a lot of the you know, Nazi bullshit and all that. And, like I said, maybe they could turn around. But maybe, but I, I wouldn't bet on it. I'm thinking it's a bit late for that. And, that, um, you know, may, maybe, like, if they get a bunch of re really respected people on there, like, oh, I don't know, you you probably have to, like, like get, um, people, you know, like, MPs and, uh, um, you know, like, um, me you know, me is it members of states in America, you know, the people at the state elect to be their representative, state representatives, I don't know, you'd have to get really liked people that are really anti um, white supremacy and anti Nazis and you know just that kind of stuff to just like try and balance it out a bit first maybe before um, adding in a bit more cent more center and um, you know people in this, in the opposite of different uh, um, political beliefs before you know after after you do that I. But you, really, they just really need to lose the tag of that place where all the neo Nazis go before they could, uh, before they can even think about what to, um, becoming a good replacement for Twitter. But I do think if they can do that, I think it would be a really good replacement for Twitter, and uh, it would pro probably provide hours of in entertainment for people who just like to watch. Um, comments just fly by, it's like two people just like, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, the two political extremes going at each other. It is fun sometimes, uh, but when you're not in the political extremes and you still get caught in the crossfire, that is annoying though. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Did I start saying Gaff is still a gap? I don't know. Uh, if I did, it probably annoyed a bunch of people. Yeah, it's G A B, not G A F. And you after you say it a few times, you probably get the words mixed up. Um, and I do f actually believe "gaff" is a British slang. Might be British slang, you know, "gif gaff gaff." I, I, I don't know. I, I do believe I have heard the "gaff" before somewhere. I don't know. Anyway, uh, sorry if I did accidentally say "gaff" instead of "gab." Bye bye.